Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I am so excited to show you my new nails. I did these at home and it's a sage green and I thought they were so pretty. I love the way sage green looks with black. Although it's more like a spring type color, I don't know, I was in the mood for it and I really like the way it turned out. Since I did my nails, I thought it would be really fun to get some temporary finger tattoos. These are from Ulta. I haven't opened this one yet, but it has cute little sayings that I thought would be nice on this side of the hand or maybe on the wrist or maybe the forearm area. I love the way that looks when it's really dainty and nice writing. I got scammed because this one shows that they're really tiny like that, but when you actually open the case, look at how huge these are. Like, how am I gonna put that on a thing? Like, these are gigantic and that heart, because I thought the heart would be cute um, in this area here, and it's just massive. So I, I don't really know what happened there. I'm gonna return those, but I am gonna keep this one. Let me open it up really quick. So that's what these look like. I'm gonna put uh, maybe one or two of these on in just a moment. And then I got a lens. Do you guys know the brand Moment? They're lenses that you can put on your iPhone or just whatever smartphone you have. You screw them on the back of the camera and it gives you the professional camera look. The 18 millimeter one that everyone uses for vlogging. This year, I'm really wanting to up the quality of my videos, especially the visuals. And that's why I purchased this lens. But when you open it, there's a little card in there and it was completely empty. Like this is how I got it. You can tell that the box had already been opened and there was no lens. They're gonna send me a new one and hopefully that'll get here next week and we can have better quality visuals. I'm getting my own bedroom. You guys are probably like, what? The quality of sleep that I have been getting lately is not good and you guys know you have to have sleep for your health overall. Like good quality sleep is important and Chris goes to sleep later than I do and he gets up earlier and I'm such a light sleeper. Are any of you like this? Everything wakes me up. Like he tiptoes on the carpet in the room and I'm like, what is that? And I'm constantly being woken up all throughout the morning, all throughout the night. So I said, babe, how about I just move into my own room with my own bed because I like a different mattress than he does. So we'll hang out at night, cuddle, do all our things, and then separate and go into our own rooms. And he was totally fine with that. He's like, yeah, babe, like your sleep is a priority. It doesn't mean anything for married people to sleep in separate rooms. It doesn't mean that there's a problem in the marriage. I have talked about this in girls' nights videos because more and more people are opening up about their sleeping habits and sleeping away from their partner just for the health of it and the quality of sleep. So I thought I would share that with you guys. That's a little different and we're gonna redecorate our whole room. I'm gonna paint one of the walls black. It'll be like a matte black accent wall. And then I have a platform bed frame already coming from Amazon. It'll be here in two days. So it's gonna be like really low to the ground. It's gonna just be very serene and simple and clean. I'm so excited to uh, decorate the room and show you guys. I think I'm gonna use gratitude and the one that says smile. I'm about to take Max to daycare so he can go get his energy out. He's pretty bored right now. I'm sure he's excited to go see his little friends and go play.
I am so excited. I just purchased my brand new mattress. What else do I have to do today? I guess I should get some more paint to get that accent wall painted uh, tomorrow because the platform and the bed is getting delivered Saturday and today is Thursday. Since we're on the way to the store, I thought I would update you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I started back at Stretch Club as a stretch therapist. I left the job. I quit my job a while back because there was so much drama. This manager just made working there miserable. Talked about you behind your back, fake to your face, didn't do her job. You know what I mean? And everybody was sick of it. And the owner ended up contacting me a month later and said, hey, I think you're a great worker. And I'd really like it if you could come back and just come to a different location. So it's just like 20 minutes away from my house. All right, so I'm gonna go pick up the paint and then I'll see you guys back at home. I decided that I'm too hungry to wait to go home and I'm gonna run a couple more errands and then pick up Max. So I decided to just run to Taco Bell. I'm trying the peach mango drink and um, it's really good. It's not like too much, too sweet. I thought it'd be like syrupy, like a fruit punch. I wanted to try the, oh my gosh the grilled steak grilled cheese burrito this thing is hefty i get the mild sauce just because i think the flavor is the best it has the little like chips in it the little crunchies with obviously melted cheese steak i think that's all that's in there if i had some nacho cheese to dip it in i would make it even better there is nacho cheese in here that makes it even better with melted cheese and nacho cheese. This is good. And it has rice. I ran all my errands, we got everything done. It's four o'clock now. Picked up Max from daycare, I'm gonna gas up and then head home. Glad he got his energy out. Glad he got a lot of exercise in. That was the main point of taking him to daycare for his fitness and heart health. When dogs are 85 pounds like Maxwell, the you know one hour walks or whatever, it's just not enough. And it's $23 for a half day and you get five or six hours. It's a good deal. So, see you guys at home. Probably everything that you could think of that can go wrong has gone wrong. I'm sitting down. I had to take a break before I got started. You know, I had all the stuff laid down and I was about to start painting and then I didn't have the paint pan. So I had to go to the store and get that and then Roman was hungry and he wanted food and blah, blah, blah. And then I got hungry so I had to go eat leftover stew and some chocolate cake. Last time I got black paint on my nails and I had to repaint them so this Time. We're gonna be smart. We're gonna glove up. Always use protection, friends. Always. I just went up and down the stairs 10 times. I'm not about to go again. So we're gonna open up our paint can with a thermometer. Okay? Yeah. All right, are you ready? You're in the view. You're in the view. Ow. We did it with a thermometer. This is what I'm talking about. Now that I need the paintbrush to do the corners, the sides, 
Chris threw away the paintbrush and I'm just like, and he's getting onto me like, babe, get everything that you need all together at once. And I'm like, why do you throw things away? I think that we have them and we don't. So I guess we're taking another break. Chris is getting a paintbrush. He's getting off work in a minute. Whew, I've been running up the flights of stairs and the downstairs, running around looking for a paintbrush. Ooh. Good morning guys, it is the next day. I got up super early and I got the kids some donuts from the local donut shop. And I went ahead and made sure that all of the paint was very dry and the room is looking really good. I went on Amazon and I picked out all of my shelving and LED wall lamps that I'm gonna have. Just all the little decor pieces just to bring the room together. I dropped uh, Cyro off at daycare so that I can finish the room today in peace and not have to worry about the two dogs. Max is over here just resting and being a good boy. Here it is you guys, I'm so excited to show you my new room. Now this is definitely a masculine base. It has a very masculine foundation. I totally get that because if you're looking at the room like wow that kind of looks like a guy's room. Yeah, it definitely gives that feel. But when I put everything up you guys are going to see the soft lighting and all the plants and the statues. Like I have very feminine, very beautiful pieces that I'm putting on some shelving. It's gonna be so feminine, masculine, sexy. I can't even tell you how excited I am to show you the end product. It's gonna be in the next vlog. We have to do it to be continued because all of my stuff hasn't arrived, but you are not gonna be disappointed, I assure you. This is, it's gonna be something. <laughs> the best part. Oh, the most comfortable mattress in the world for my body type specifically for me my preference only the sheets that I have buttery soft I'll link in the description below the mattress protector that I used and the sheets from Amazon because let me tell you the most super soft buttery sheets ever it was $35 total but I got them for an additional 25% off right now and then the comforter itself was only $35 plus I had a coupon for that as well on Amazon and it's really soft too. So I'm really happy with everything that I bought. And then my little dresser over here, do you guys remember I had that boho dresser? It was kind of grayish with these matching drawers. I just painted it black to match the new theme. Now let's chit chat for a moment because it is Chris's birthday um, tomorrow, tomorrow, Monday. So the day after tomorrow. And um, I didn't really know exactly what to do for him. And uh, you know, when you kind of look around online like what's the best gift what should i do girl i jumped on best golf gifts for men and i found an at-home golf simulator now they typically go for anywhere between five and ten thousand dollars people who play golf are addicted to these that's where they go every single weekend if it's too cold to play at the course like it's a thing i found one for fifteen hundred dollars plus tax and it was a bundle package too, it had everything included. I showed Chris and he was like, oh my gosh, babe, like this is a good one. But he went in the basement to go measure uh, the ceiling and flooring and everything and it just didn't match up. So we're actually redoing the basement. We're gonna finish it, put new flooring and the entire house actually. We're gonna have several house projects coming up here really soon in the next, I think, month. We're getting brand new lights and hardware in the kitchen and bathrooms. We're redoing the basement, the floors, the entire house. We're getting a new front door. Instead of having the sliding uh, back door, we're going to put French doors, brand new fridge, dishwasher, like the whole nine. It's, it's going to be a whole 
refresh of the entire house. But anyway, Chris, I guess, is gonna have the contractor make a little section to where it's high enough to put the golf simulator so he can have that as his gift. And then I'm taking him to dinner, of course. We're having a nice family dinner at the Brazilian Steakhouse. I forget what it's called, Fogo de Chao or something like that. I don't know, I'll put it here, but it's just a really nice steakhouse of unlimited meats. Men love the meats, you know what I mean? Today has been so busy, I'm tired. <sighs> This feels so comfortable. I can't wait to go to sleep tonight. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today was crazy. I did the best I could getting some footage in with everything that was going on. And um, I have a lot of great stuff to show you coming up. I have my lip blushing appointment in a couple of days. So that'll be in the next vlog as well. I'm doing another uh, hygiene shower like self-care day where i show you all the good things that i've been trying other than that don't forget you can follow me on instagram i have that linked below thank you so much for hanging out with me i had fun with you guys as usual and down below i'll also have a link to my other vlogs and girls night and my shower and hygiene routine so if you're interested in that just click down below have an amazing rest of your day and until next time bye for now mm -hmm.